You guys all, you the clo you guys are so close with your shots. <laughs> it's just my eyes and my mouth. <laughs> right? That's what the people want. Uh, yeah, right. How was practice today? It was good. We had a good day. They're, they're tired. We've been pushing them hard this week, but they fought through it this morning. It was a little cooler. Hopefully we can respond the same way in the heat of the afternoon. Is next week more? I mean, do you start installing for Chattanooga next week, or is it still a uh, we, I, we think it camp through, like, Wednesday and then, then start, you know, maybe Thursday or so, starting to install for the first opponent. When will, like, the last major scrimmage of camp be for you guys, where you guys go a lot of plays? We're not allowed to say. <laughs> no. Um, we're trying to keep our players just focusing every day, so we're not – Really giving them a scrimmage schedule, but we will we will probably have one more before we get out of camp. Looking at that that linebacker spot, besides Compton and David and Fisher, who are some of those guys that are maybe you know one step or a couple steps behind them? You know, Roach had a field. great camp, and then he got you know he's a, he's a little banged up right now, playing through an injury. May was really coming. I mean, he really took huge strides in the spring and the summer, and then. The hamstring slowed him a little bit, so we need to keep developing those two guys. Um, Stoddard and Whaley have been playing really well last couple last couple days. I mean, just uh, playing more physical, starting to get a feel of the of the defense. So the depth is coming there. Coach Ellis is doing a great job. You comfortable with an idea on a number of snaps these guys are going to play? You know, with all three and, and backups and all that. Right now, Carl, is that going to play itself out? That's going to play itself out. I mean, I, I, obviously, that depends a lot on the situation, the opponent, and what's happening in the game. Um, but across the board, we've talked a lot about late season, staying healthy late season, and, and using our depth early in the season at all positions. So, but, but, but generally, you kind of see that there's going to be a bigger need than last year. A bigger need for that? No, I don't think that. I think last year was a year that that we probably. Two years ago, we didn't do a lot of substituting, and I thought it affected us late season. You know, um, we weren't real fresh. I thought last year we substituted a little more, didn't quite have the depth we have this year. Uh, it helped us, and so I'm hoping this year we can do the same thing and, and it keep us healthy throughout the season and and develop our, our younger guys too in case of an emergency or an injury. What have you seen at that other defensive end spot um, behind Cameron Meredith there? Um, a lot of guys playing well. Um, you know, I, I, uh, Josh Williams having a really great camp. You know, I think Josh is finally, his body is adapted to the extra weight, and you see him moving a lot more quickly. Uh, Jason Anker, uh had a great spring and is continuing that in the, in the uh, camp here. Uh, Eric Martin, you know, he gives you a real dynamic player, and Joe Carter's given us that same type of guy. He's going to be a really difficult guy to handle in passing situations. So. A lot of different guys are all very different in how they play, and it's just up to us to figure out how to use them, what situations to have which groups in. Can you talk a little bit about Eric's development? If, if he came, did, did you initially think he was a pass rushing type, and has he kind of evolved in No, you know, I, he doesn't. He's not the prototype DN size wise, Eric isn't, but he's he's strong. I mean, he's, he's freakish strong. And so we thought he could hold up as a regular DN. Um, Technique wise, you know, he's always in a two point stance. And so it takes time. You know, he's still figuring that aspect of it out. But uh, he's got the strength and he's got the weight. You know, he's over 250 now. I mean, he can handle that six technique spot. So it uh, makes him even more valuable to us.